I've basically been locked in the shop and I'm gonna have a look around and see what I can find. <laughs> How are we doing guys? It's Paul the Toy Scavenger. Thanks for viewing the video. So today I've taken a little trip to London Vintage Toy Store, which is in Enfield, Cruise Hill. Now this is my local toy store, so I come here quite a lot. Every time I'm passing, I always pop in to see what they've got. So I've been given free range. <laughs> can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I've basically been locked in the shop and I'm gonna have a look around and see what I can find. I'm inside the London Vintage Toy Shop and I've been left alone. Um, I'm gonna have a little look around and see what, what there is. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's anything pretty cool that I wanna pick up myself. Oh, what is that? Oh, these are cool. One second. Let's pop that around there. There you go, look at these. Oh, mate, I love these. They are the, they're the badges from WWF back in the 90s. I think there's a Papa Shango one as well and some other ones. That's Legion of Doom. You've obviously got Hulk Hogan and Big Boss Man. That's really cool. Ah, oh, yes, this is what I like. Let's see, a bit of Mighty Max. And he's complete as well, he looks complete. That's quite good, I might pick that up. How much is it? £24, let's see if I can get him down a bit lower. It looks complete and I do want that one myself. I did, I sold one recently actually. Let me get one of them, I think. It's in the next gen. You've got a turtle sewer full sword. And I, they're great. They are great. There's quite a few of them around at the moment, but they are really good. Classics. See in here. He Man, without his armour. Skeletor, as always. Ultimate Warrior! And a nice selection of Star Wars stuff. They've got some really good Star Wars bits here. Nice little bits. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got all stuff in here. And then also, when I'm looking here, I think we've struck gold here with pine greens. They're good. Some signed stuff here. I don't know if you can see. Go look at that. That. So that one is signed by Dave Prowse. Got yourself a little Kenny Baker, R2D2, little Boba Fett signed. How much is that? It's two hundred and twenty pounds. Got this pretty cool thing here. They didn't make that, so I don't think they made that in nineties. That's pretty cool. It's really good. Hey, look at this. You got. This homemade Darth Vader mask from the 70s. It's a bit not screen accurate, but someone's made that. That's insane. There's some crazy stuff in here. This is something I like. The pin badges, the brooch, Jurassic Park ones. Let's see how much he wants for these. Might see if I can grab them. To who? So the thing I like about this shop is that it's small, but in every little nook and cranny, there is something that I can find. Just having a little look around and see. Frankenstein monster up there. Little Starsky and Hutch. Beatles. What is that? Oh, look at that. What is that? Goolsville 3D Horror Decor. Awesome. What is, is that old, but it looks old. That's good. I like that. That's so strange. Little things like that. And you've got storage boxes everywhere. There's just bits and pieces in everything. You take it, lift it up. Ah, amazing. Comics, more stuff. It's definitely one of those little shops that you will find something hidden away in a little corner. Really cool. Obviously you've got all the comics. Um, these are pretty good. Man, it's just so many. 
This is what I like. And this is prop. I'm gonna see if I can grab these. These are awesome. Anything Jurassic Park takes my eye. I'll take that. I think I've got some of these already, but these are in good condition. What is it? One, two, three, and four. All there, all in the nice little backers. There's something else that caught my eye. It's that. Captain America. That, that, that's just an iconic look, definitely, on that. And a nice little case as well. Let's see if I can have that. For Hulk. <laughs> Deadpool. Batman. X-Men, Wolverine, X-Men, four, brilliant. Right, I'm gonna pick these up. I'm gonna find out the price and I'm gonna grab these. Right, so I think what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and pick up the Jurassic Park brooches, those. I'm gonna see how much I can get the wrestling brooches for. And I think definitely those Jurassic Park comics. Wish me luck. Oh, one last thing. Let's have a look down here. Also, as well, there's like boxes here. More and more boxes, like from here. See that mini figures, some mask. A little bit of mask in there. Power Rangers, look at all those cards. Pogs. Mate, there's stuff everywhere. Accessories. Oh, you know I love a box of accessories. That's super duper. More accessories. More GI Joe. Look at this. Always check something like this. Micro machines. Have a look. Let's have a look. Add your bit. Oh, oh, sounds like there is. Yes. Jackpot. That's awesome. That was awesome. Gladiators. Wait. Signed. Also, you can spend a few minutes and play a few games. Those of you know, I just got rid of my Wild Wild West figures because I couldn't sell them. And now I'm tempted to get more because these three are the ones that everyone wants. James West. Now who are you gonna call? Right, I'm outside, but the funny thing is, literally, you walk outside. You know what Just sitting outside. Well, I'm gonna take a little look into some bags. What a Cindy. Look at that. Look at that. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Some Monster High stuff. Power Rangers. Do you know what I found? A 
you need to get down here, guys. There's like stuff everywhere. All that mad dogs. Classics. So while you're at the London Vintage Toy Store, always check out the Vintage Emporium at the back because you never know what you're going to find in there. Well guys, that's me from my London Toy Shop video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, at Toy Scavenger, and you can buy my toys at thetoyscavenger.com. But you can also come here and buy the toys in the London Vintage Toy Shop in Enfield. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you soon.